Got a new bottle of wine on hand that you just can't wait to get into? We know the feeling. It's like you're holding a little celebration that's just waiting to be uncorked. This makes perfect sense since uncorking or unscrewing in some cases is the first step to enjoying your wine. Once the cork's removed, it's tempting to pour a glass and start sipping, but as the old saying goes, good things come to those who wait. After opening the bottle, we highly recommend aerating your wine. Aerating lets that delicious vino open up and express all of the wonderful and complex flavors inside. You can aerate some wines for up to four hours, but even 15 minutes of aerating will do wonders for your wine. Fun fact, both red and white wines can aerate in the bottle with the cork or screw cap removed, but using a decanter can help speed up the process. Plus, it makes for a great presentation at a dinner party. When it's time to pour your wine, the right wine glass makes all the difference. Red wines are great in wide mouth glasses that allow the flavors to fully develop. White wines, which are usually served colder than red wines, are best sipped from a long stemmed glass with a smaller opening that directs the fruity flavors and aromas to the top of the glass. Now, if there's any leftover wine, well, first of all, we admire your willpower. But second, you need to store it for another day. This only applies to wine that you haven't already poured into your decanter. If you can use the original cork from the bottle, that's the ideal way to keep it fresh. But if the cork's no longer an option, a wine stopper will do just fine. Plug that bottle, pop it in the fridge, yes, even if it's a red wine, and you'll keep it fresh enough to enjoy in the next day or two, which is great because the only thing better than a great glass of wine is, well, another one.